So if you're selling your own branded products on retail stores, yes, you will need a UPC or an EAN to put on your product packaging. However, if you're just selling your own branded products, private label products, let's say on Amazon, it's a common misconception that you actually need a GTIN, a UPC or an EAN to create your product listing. Because what you can do is you can actually get something called GTIN exemption from Amazon, which means you can create a product listing without the need for a UPC or an EAN. And that means you can save a lot of money on GS1 fees. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so when creating your product listing, what you'll see is that two of the required fields are brand name and also external product ID, which is essentially your GTIN, your UPC or EAN. So what you wanna do is firstly put in your brand name here. Now you can see there is an option that says this product does not have a brand name. Now you can select that. However, that will change the listing to a generic listing, which means you're not gonna be able to use your brand name on your product listing. Now. If you are selling a product that is not branded, so an unbranded product, or maybe a bundle of branded products that doesn't have its own brand name, then that is totally fine. You can select this option. However, for most of you watching this, you're going to want to have your brand name on your listing if you're a private label seller. So untick this and then add your brand name here. Then Amazon's gonna ask you to add in a UPC or EAN. Now what you can see again is there's this option that says I do not have a product ID. So what you wanna do is just select this option and then click next. When you do that, what you'll see is these two error messages. The first one says a brand name approval required. You have entered a brand name that has not been approved by Amazon. You need to apply for approval to list products using this brand name. The second error message says UPC exemption required or GTIN exemption required. You have indicated that your product does not have a product ID. You need to apply for approval to list this product without a product ID. So if you want to list this branded product without a GS1 GTIN, what you need to do is go through a two-step process. So step number one is to get approval for your brand name. And there's two different options here. So the first option is to enroll in Amazon's brand registry program. And this is what I would generally recommend. However, you can only enroll in Amazon's brand registry if you have an active trademark. But if you have an active trademark, or if you have a pending trademark, I would recommend enrolling in Amazon's brand registry. I put out a whole video in the past on exactly how to do that. So I'll link that up here and also down below. So if you have a registered trademark, I'd recommend enrolling in Amazon's brand registry first and then coming back to this video. Now, if you don't have a trademark for your brand name, don't worry at all. You can go with the second option, which is to get Amazon brand approval. And this is essentially where Amazon will approve you to use that brand name on your listing, even without a trademark. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. So to get brand approval, all you need to do is click this apply to sell button. And it will take you to a page that looks just like this. So I would just take a little bit of time working through this page to give you a nice little video that walks you through exactly what you need for this application process but I'll also, also walk you through it quickly here. So what you need to do is basically, if you have a website for your brand, you can add it here. If you don't, don't worry, you don't need to. This is an optional, uh, optional piece of information. Then what you need to do is select the category that your product falls into. And if you can't find it, then you can search. So I'm using a fictional brand here called Tech Lab, um, and I'm going to be selling a laptop stand. So let's just search that and then I'll select the correct option. Then once you've done that, you just wanna scroll down. And then the final thing that you need to provide is pictures of your branded product or product packaging. Now, what Amazon asks for here is very, very clear. So what they say is that these images need to meet some criteria. And those criteria are that number one, the branding on the product or packaging must match the branding that the brand name that you're trying to get approval for exactly. So for example, let's say I'm trying to get approval for the brand name Tech Lab and it's one word. On your product packaging, the logo Tech Lab needs to be one word as well. If it's two separate words, then Amazon might not approve, uh, give you brand approval. So make sure it exactly matches. Number two, the pictures are taken by you and the items are handheld or placed on a table. Um, so what they're asking for here is to make sure that they're not professional images, that they're real images. So what I'd recommend is hold your product, branded product or product packaging over a table and just take a picture with your phone so it's a natural looking picture. And finally, they say the branding must be stamped 
stitched, printed or stuck on the product or packaging so that it's not easily removable. Essentially, what they wanna make sure is that, they, uh, that the branding is permanently affixed to your product and it's not just a sticker that you've added on where you're trying to game the system. They wanna make sure that this really is a branded product for you to be able to get brand approval. So add your images here, then just tick all of these options. Then you wanna scroll down, add your email address, phone number, and then just click submit. Now, once you've gone through that process and you've got brand approval, or you've enrolled in Amazon's brand registry, you can then move on to step two, which is actually getting GTI and exemption for that approved or registered brand. Okay guys, so step two is super, super simple. All you need to do is come back to add a product and to the product listing tool. Now, once your brand is approved or registered, when you actually come over and click on um, this brand name section on the drop down, you'll be able to see the brand name you've just got approval for or that you've just enrolled in Amazon's brand registry. So you can select that. Then you again want to select, I do not have a product ID and then click next. You'll be then shown a pop-up that looks something like this, where it says UPC exemption approved. Amazon's now calling GTI exemption UPC exemption. You have been granted an exemption to list without a product ID. This takes up to one hour to take effect. If you are unable to submit this right away, please save this listing as a draft and then retry it sometime later. So you now have GTIN exemption. It's really that simple. All you need to do is finish off your product listing and then save it or submit it. Like Amazon said, if you aren't able to actually submit it, then just save it as a draft, come back to it in about an hour or two and then submit that listing and everything should be fine. So guys, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.